All right, finished product. <laughs> I wanted to give you something that I made for you. Do you want to see what it is? Oh boy. <laughs> Are your eyes closed? Yeah. Open. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Here, you gotta look at them. You gotta appreciate every single one of them. What the heck? <laughs> no <laughs> more kids. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're nuts, Hella. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Relax and enjoy your nuts. <laughs> They're like that's contradictive. Are you serious? <laughs> Fireballs. Fire oh my god. <laughs> Being jerk. <laughs> I should have given this to you after, but I want you to have something to look forward to, like when you're coming home. Look at all these goodies I have for you. What is it supposed to hold it? Exactly, it's a <laughs> hand. Do you do you see why I was being secretive yes. now? Yeah. Do you appreciate it now? I'll probably still be an asshole until it's over with. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. It's so punny. <laughs> That's the only appropriate description of this basket. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> yeah. Is good. it a good morning? <laughs> Sure is. Today's the big day that's gonna make Addie a officially big sister. no longer, <laughs> no longer as if she was already, officially not a possibility of becoming a big sister. Watch it still happen. <laughs> the kids are at school. We are going to, well, you stopped to get ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna go pick up the kids from school and. <laughs> Then we've got just a little bit of time to kill. Every minute is like... Are you getting more anxious? <laughs> you don't have to do it if you don't want to. A lot of people were asking why we went this route. And we had talked about it before. about Because basically our options are either if we don't want any more kids, that I get the surgery done, you get the surgery done, or I take birth control the rest of my life, which has worked so well in the past, right? We kind of just like... Went with the easiest one. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> Women, to get that surgery, to get like their tubes tied or whatever, it's something that affects your body for the rest of your life. It's a major surgery. It's extremely expensive, which may or may not be covered by insurance. And if I, I think honestly, like if I had gone to the hospital, I had a C-section and I was like open already, I probably just would have said like do it, obviously. But... I went so much to avoid the hospital, <laughs> so much to avoid the hospital, <laughs> you know? It just made more sense for us and our situation because it's cheaper and it's not very invasive. Yeah. Not to like put your <laughs> surgery down like, I appreciate everything you're gonna go through. In invading my privacy. <laughs> Literally. It's a little nerve wracking. Like make, it like makes me nervous, but at the same time, I feel like it would be a thousand times more worse if she were to get like any type of surgery or you know anything like that and birth control just like totally screws up her body so yeah or gets me pregnant <laughs> so I would not trust it birth just, control. it just seems like the most logical long-term route yeah and sure there's a chance that it couldn't work but I think that's pretty yeah. Unheard of. And if a baby really wants to implant itself into my body after a vasectomy, <laughs> we will like just cherish that. Like you are meant to be, because you, you know, and it, it that, would be us. That would be the top of the moon, baby. <laughs> right? No, but really, though, really, my body cannot handle another pregnancy. Like I, I can't do it. Um, I shouldn't have even probably had this. Like it, my, I went through a lot with her pregnancy. We are just counting our blessings with the ones that we have and we are happy, How happily ending. How many blessings ending. do we have again? I know, we had to like recount. Ending our childbearing years. You're the last one, my child. You are the last one. So anyway, I gotta go pick up the kids. You gotta get ready. Our AC isn't working and it's so hot outside and oh my God, I don't know how we're living. So that's gonna be a whole nother thing. You're gonna come home to a hot house. I'll take care of you, baby. I'll put a... <laughs> you have to wait like two weeks, dude. <laughs> Do you have to wait that long? I think so. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> have I told you how much I love and appreciate you for doing this? Really? Really? Oh, I'm not even on you. <laughs> We're on our way now. 
How you feeling, babe? I feel like going to sleep. Already? Really? No, like... Oh, you just kind of like be put wanted, under? I just wanted to be, yeah, I wanted to be over. <laughs> you nerd. You're so cute. The kids we left at home, Gabe is watching the kids for us because we help watch Logan a lot too, so we have like, he owes us one. <laughs> so we are about 10 minutes away and I probably obviously won't be able to bring the camera. Like even if I could, I think that that's probably a little too much. Hey Doc, can I record? Do you have any famous last words, babe? <laughs> Famous last word? <laughs> Jeez. You're like, I'm not dying. Hope nobody's jerking me around. <laughs> Did you like that? You have to admit, it was clever. Right? Yeah. You guys are nuts. <laughs> there. I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> we have Addie in the car, obviously, because she won't take a bottle for us. So Addie is with us. The rest of the kids are at home, and by the time we get back home, we'll be in fertile. Actually, not quite. It doesn't it take like a while to like to get out of your system. Well, to test. How are you feeling, babe? How are you feeling? Hear my hair grow. <laughs> they just gave him two volume. He's freaking out. Turn down the volume. <laughs> it's too loud. It'll be over in like 10 minutes, babe. Are you seeing shit or what? It's like... Your life flashing before your eyes. Is the room spinning? Huh? Is the room spinning? Not yet. It feels like... I feel like I'm trying to like keep up like when I move. Like my eyes are like I've kind of just done it at home with some I don't think you want me near there with some scissors. I don't think I would do okay. You just get like just turn on the stove, like the burner on the <gasps> stove, just like <laughs> that's hot. Yeah, a stove is a lot, generally like hot. One of those candle lighters would work. How do you think they're gonna burn it in there? They use a, an electric current. It's basically like a stun gun for your balls. So they tie it. They and burn it. Mm -hmm. It's like a double whammy. More bang for your buck. More bang. <laughs> this is gold. Can they prescribe this for at, at home? <laughs> Should I try and stand up? <laughs> we would be that one couple in the doctor's office. I feel like we're falling. It's like Maybe you I should. feel gravity like moving me. Maybe you should just stay seated. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Baby, maybe you should just sit down. Yeah, just it's sit so there. so happy. <laughs> Yourself? <laughs> should I do like a jumping? No, thing? just sit down. Just stay there. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think you should. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is the room spinning? Not yet. Are you planning on it spinning? Okay, now it's spinning. <laughs> She's like, what is wrong with my father? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she thought that was funny. <laughs> I think you're ready. I think I should go tell somebody that you're ready. No. Let it kick in more. You're gonna pass out. More. <laughs> She's not a dog. <laughs> Hey. There was, there was only <laughs> one time where I actually like felt the pain. Was that the shot? No, it wasn't. You know what they did? Um, I wasn't gonna tell you this during, but they started. They like numbed you on both sides. That when you felt that pain. Yeah. They had started doing it, and I don't think you were numb. They re they did the shot again. Oh. And then after that is when you were fine again. The other side, I didn't feel anything. And I was expecting, like, 
what I felt was like a, it was it felt like something being pulled out of my lower stomach. No. Like it that's that's what I'm saying. Like if like that actually like hurt. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it was also as much as I was expecting. If that makes sense. Yeah, I know what you mean. You did it. It's done. I'm so proud of you. You almost hyperventilated three times. Did you know that? Do you even remember what she was telling you? To just breathe. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. Great. I don't care you, you did you great. Are. That is not comfortable. No, of course not. Absolutely not. I don't think you can even. Everybody's pain tolerance is different. So I don't think you're wrong for feeling that way. It was, the only part that would that was funny, a little funny, was that you were like, ow, and he wasn't even touching you. Because he looked at you like, I'm not touching you. I don't know what it was, but like may maybe when they did do something, like the feeling or the nerve like went past where it was numb and like came, I don't know. I don't know how to explain yeah. it. But like my lower stomach, I definitely felt something. You freaked yourself out way more than I think you needed to. I would rather freak out more mentally and it be not that bad. Then yeah, prepare to go yourself. In, to go in thinking it's going to be nothing and then it turned into something like, what the fuck? Yeah. You were mentally like, and I know, because I know that feeling, like where you psych yourself out, you know it's coming. Yeah. And that was your, did, that was the worst part for you, I think. So did she do Watching stitches? It. No, there's no stitches. It was complete. There's not even, I don't even see a, a, an incision. So was it like this like little tool that like poked yeah. inside? Yeah, and pulled it out. It was pretty cool. It might be like I watched the whole thing. Clamp. It was so cool. It might be like this little clamp that just like It was. It, it was a clamp and they like pulled it out and I think he was new. The girl did the one side and the guy did the other side. So if one well, of I'm the glad, sides fails. I'm glad he did the side that was fully numb. Hopefully that side was uh, sealed properly. Not funny. They said everything went fine. It went just as expected. Did she, did she watch him do it? Yes, she was on him and she was telling him what to do and then he started doing something and she was like, no, don't do that. Like, he listened. It was all good. It was all fine. Yeah. It was great. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Now we have that handful of peace for you at home. <laughs> <laughs> See, now it's funny, huh? Now it's over and now it's funny. I wanted to show the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> she would have said you guys were nuts. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be like the worst day because it's like the day after. I don't know. I think I think you went through the worst of it. So anyway, you are bedridden for two days. You have to lay down on your back, not sit. You have to lay down on your back. I will wait on you hand and foot. You will be my eighth child. <laughs> my eighth child that does not exist in real and life. And I'm just I'm just gonna sit there and scream like all the other kids do. This is your only excuse in life ever. Bye. Can you, you're gonna strain yourself. I think you should just relax. Yeah. You were laughing on the table and your balls were like. I was like, stop laughing. It was so. I wish I recorded you. Like, you were like, like psyching yourself out, hyperventilating. Like Caden does. Worse. Because you actually were turning blue. I wasn't turning you blue. You were turning pale. No. You were turning. That's why she put the thing on your forehead. I saw it. You were turning pale because you were hyperventilating before they made the incision. Because <laughs> I was prepping myself for like an <laughs> annihilation. <laughs> I'm not making fun of you. I'm just, I'm proud of you. I think you did great. I think you did good. Yay. Now we get to go home to 10 kids. You're the reason I did this. <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> Addie was a trooper. She watched the whole thing. She watched her dad get a vasectomy. I don't know if we should tell her that when she's older. No. She no. was laughing too. She thought it was hilarious. I bet she did. The doctors loved her. <laughs> yeah, she wanted to take her home. Yeah, she did. It hurts less than having another kid. <laughs> I laughed a second, but. <laughs> when we came home, 
Gabe and Amber had put all of them pretty much in bed. Like they were all either asleep or like on their way to bed. So that was great because we didn't get home until, by the time I got home it was like 8.45, so it was late. <laughs> we're just sitting in recovery. <laughs> now, Addie's passed out here. We're just watching our show. He's over there, I'm not gonna show him from the waist down because he's hurting. I mean, it looks normal, that's good. Maybe, hopefully tomorrow will be better and not worse. Yeah, I think tonight is gonna be the worst night because of just it being like so new. Yeah. Hang in there, love. Oh, I'm hanging. <laughs> what did I say earlier? Oh, you asked if I was butt hurt. Oh. I know, I'm ball hurt. <laughs> well, we're gonna wrap, wrap up this vlog so we can go to bed because <laughs> we've had a rough day. We've had a rough day. <laughs> He's had a rough it's day. It's so hard to drive and watch your husband's balls get cut open. I watched it, dude. I watched it. It was so cool. So anyway, we're going to wrap this up for tonight. We will talk to you guys tomorrow and hopefully Chris is feeling better. <laughs> so good night.